Okay, boy. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him? Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Going to those trees. This way. ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything. Something else on the ground, just here. There she here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert.
Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that fate. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Strauss, you busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. All right. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. No, 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 no. Please, no. Money, but but I have the it's good, it's good, it's valuable, is is Warsaw, yes. I have your thing, okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I don't understand. Move aside. Prusakom nie można ufać. Amerykańcom też. Don't even speak English. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. The longer I look, the madder I get. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Nie rób tego! I need, I must eat, proszę! Okay, that should about cover things.
I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. with the holler. Oh. Oh. I got bit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I need medicine. Or a siphon. Oh. All right. All right. Oh. Quit moaning. Christ. Oh. oh, God. Let's keep this between us. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Uh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. God! Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh?
Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. <laughs> Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. They're good boys, mostly. This is the most thing I'm scared of. Oh, don't be. Be fine. What about town? 